Hey, hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome to the Vibe Tribe family. Today is Let's Talk Tuesday, where I'm going to sit down with a diamond painting. Finally, it's been forever and a day. And we are just going to chat. We're going to chat about the three C's in life, choices, chances, and changes. I am going to address a situation that I have received numerous, numerous messages over. And without getting really into it, and putting it to rest. So let's just get in on today's video. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, I would love to have you join the Vibe Tribe family by hitting that little red subscribe button. If you like today's video, please make sure you give it a thumbs up as it does let me know I'm on the right track for creating content for you. If you don't like it, that's okay. Give me the big old thumbs down. Don't bother me none. Thanks for the watch time. Thanks for helping me too. Don't forget to hit that notification bell as it'll let you know when my squirrely videos upload. Okay guys, let's get to chatting. How's it going? How's your day so far? Hopefully it's a fantabulous one. Sherry here, aka Purple Door Crafts. And welcome to Let's Talk Tuesday. This is a series that I had started long ago where we just sit down, we chat, I diamond paint, and bullshit with you guys. It has been a long time since we have done a Let's Talk Tuesday. Now, I mean, I've done a couple chat videos here and there, but I just, I haven't really sat down and talked with you guys. You know, not like I used to in whipping chats. Um, I haven't really been diamond painting that overly that much as I've been trying to find my passion for diamond painting once again, as I do feel I lost that a long, 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 long time ago. I'm just loading up my pen and my multi-placer. And as you've seen by the title, we're going to talk about the three C's in life. Choices, chances, and changes. That really, to me, is what life is about. Now, today's video would have been up a while ago, but I have been on and off the phone all day. Now, really, for the last, what seems like forever and a day, the hottest topic amongst the pretty much the entire world has been Johnny Depp's situation and what he has gone through where him and his ex-wife were both suing each other for defamation of character, da, 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 da. Now, with this case trial, I did not watch it at all. I mean, any posts, I would scroll past them. I did not talk about it, none of it. And the reason being as being a survivor of domestic violence, it was triggering and it was hard you know it is because of women like Amber Heard that true victims of domestic violence have struggles and you know to be heard get help because of women who lie and when I seen that Johnny Depp won I felt like it was a true win for the domestic violence community. Why am I choosing to talk about this? Well, I just want to say yay, win for the domestic violence community. B, I am going to address something that I woke up to this morning. Now, I am 
on the advice of a lawyer. I thought a nightmare that I was dealing with personally was over. And then this morning I woke up to numerous messages due to something that people have seen. The one thing in life that we cannot control is what other people see, think, or do. <coughs> one second, guys. And we're back. Mr. Purple had just gotten out of the shower. Like I said, I was on the phone today, da 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 da. So I woke up to numerous messages a voicemail due to something that was posted on an ex-friend's Facebook. This is the second time that this has happened. So I have contacted a lawyer. So on the screen, somewhere on there, you guys, you are gonna see it pop up, but we are gonna talk, I'm gonna give the definition of defamation of character, okay? I just got to find it on my phone so I can read it. Defamation. When good words go bad, defamation refers to harming another person's reputation by making a false written or oral, oral statement about that person to a third party. Defamation law is not about protecting pride. It is about protecting reputation. Okay, and this is what Johnny Depp was going through with his ex-wife. So I am not gonna get into a great detail because I can't, but back in February, I reached out to somebody that I had not spoken to in two years. I wanted to apologize for some unbecoming behavior that I had done. I do not bash people on Facebook. I, I, I just don't, that's not my style, and I had done that. To be honest, I don't even remember all the details of the falling out of our relationship. I just don't. So on the screen, I am going to post a photo of my apology to this person. You're gonna have to pause to read. That was my apology. Next, I am going to post a photo of what this person sent back to me. You're gonna to have to pause to read. I sent my apology February 3rd. I got my response on February 4th. After that, yes, there were a few more messages sent back. Like we'd gone back and back and forth, but, and this was done through her. I had done this through her husband's account because, you know, I could, I was blocked on her previous one. Now I had reached out to apologize, like I said, in my apology for me to have closure and move on. I was not looking to rekindle a friendship. I mean, if we could have worked it out like adults, great. If not, I did this for me. On February 4th, I blocked her husband's account. I will put a photo up of that, it's blocked. This was the last day that I had any communication with said person. I have blacked out last name on the advice of lawyer. That was the last day. Now, my brother, Troy, had also, uh, going against me, reached out to said person. That is why you've seen the very last thing I said was there. Happy? Because I had sent, a, so on the screen, I am going to put up what Troy sent said person. I, this person proceeded to take to Facebook lying that Troy threatened said person. Okay, well, and this was the next message that said person or Troy had sent to said person and then blocked. This was the last day there was any communication between myself and her. From February 4th to February 11th, there were numerous 
posts that this person had made onto Facebook. I'm not gonna post all those, okay? They're, you know, I'm not gonna say what my opinion is, but they were just not nice directed. Now, on February 11th, she decided to make a post how she was up all night sick and not be blah, blah, blah. I will put that up on the screen. Next, I'm going to put a photo of her comment section. Accusing me of stepping it up daily, which is saying I'm harassing, which no, there was not. There was not any communication. There was nothing. Okay. I let it go. I moved forward. Moved on. Until this morning, I am getting numerous messages about something that she had posted. I have no control over what people, what my friends do. So one of mine and Troy's mutual friends went behind my back and messaged her and told her that, I guess I was dropping a video soon. I don't know what else was said, but obviously it pissed her off, I, I don't know. And she made a post, I'm gonna put that up on the screen, saying that this, she knew that this was me. Well, how do you know that this was me? Because A, it was not me. I have moved forward of my life. Now, this is, the next one, I'm now gonna put up her comment section. To say I am borderline and refer me to Amber Heard is defamation of character. Because that is done with malice, with intent to hurt me and my reputation. I am not borderline. I have ADHD. The only reason why I am, and this is on the advice of my lawyer, is to address this to everyone who is contacting me. I will not discuss this any further. No, I am not proceeding to take action at this time. That is why I am discussing this. I am not making a video. Did me and Danelle have a conversation, you know, kind of laughing and joking about doing a video and picking up where Troy left off because Troy was going to make a video. Yeah, we laughed and joked in a conversation, a private conversation, you know, and I'm like, oh yeah, I'll do it. No, I was not going to drop a video soon. I do not know what he had all said to her. This is wrong. This is defamation of character because the, what is being said is with malice, with intent to hurt. Please do not message me on this anymore. Please do not ask me questions on this. I will not make posts. I will not discuss this with anybody. That is why we're talking about the three C's in life, okay? So that took me what, all of seven minutes to discuss, okay? When, and when people are choosing to try to hurt another person and their character, that says more about them than it does about me. I never harassed, I never threatened, I never did anything, okay? I am not going to sit here and defend myself. I am not sit, gonna sit here and defend my character. If this does not stop, then yes, I will take further action. I am on the path to success. I have goals. I have dreams. 
So the three C's, choices, chances, and changes. I am choosing to take the high road. I am chancing that this may stop or may not, but I am making the changes within myself to rise above. Life is all about choices, changes, and chances. I am 43 years old. I have endured many traumas in my life. I have endured trials, tribulations. I have made bad choices. I have done bad things in my life, but that does not define who I am. I am someone who is willing to acknowledge my wrongdoings, hence why I will apologize when needed. I have sent out many apologies since February. When I am sending an apology, it is not necessarily for them. It is for me, for closure, so I can move forward. I can close that chapter. I have acknowledged my wrongdoing, what you do with it is up to you. But if somebody is going to defame and defile me and my character, when I am trying to start a small business, when I do content, that can hurt me. And that is why we have these laws. I am who I am. I have ADHD. I have social anxiety. But those also do not define who I am. They are aspects of me. We all have different flaws and good things about ourselves. I choose on how I choose to deal with things. People may not necessarily maybe agree with how I do things or why I do some of the things that I do, but it's not up to them to decide. Just like it is not up to me to decide for others. Being a survivor warrior of domestic violence, being a survivor and a warrior of rape. It has taken a long time for me to find a voice. It is people like Amber Heard and others who lie about domestic violence and lie about being raped that make it hard for those who are trying to get past situations like that who are trying to move forward. When you are in a relationship that has domestic violence, you don't have a voice. You don't stand up for yourself. After Johnny Depp had won, I did go back and watch some of the trial footage. And I had heard conversations between her and Johnny. There is no way she is a survivor of domestic violence or experienced domestic violence. Those who are in a relationship with someone who is physically abusing them would never say the evil, mean, vile things that she did because you are in fear of being hit. Once you experience being beaten or being hit like that, 
you are not going to take a chance to have it happen again. So you do, you will do and say whatever you can to not have that happen. And even once you get out of that situation, it follows you in every aspect of your life. You still struggle to have a voice. You still struggle to speak your mind and say how you truly feel because your brain is rewired. You, your whole brain, your whole chemistry is rewired and it's in survival mode. This can also make you an easy target for other people that want to, you know, because once people see what your weaknesses are, that no, you don't have a voice, that no, you will not speak your truths, some people will take advantage of that. And when you do start to get a voice and you start to finally implement boundaries in your life, people don't know how to take that. You know, now it's, no, well now, now you're not being you. You're not being real. No, no, no. What it is is because you can no longer get away with treating me the way you could now that I have boundaries. I will not justify my actions. I will not defend myself publicly. Like, I mean, I could have posted back in February, all this shit. I could have made a post to, nah, I don't need to. I don't need to. You know, like, no, not everything can be shooting moonbeams out your arse and rainbows out your mouth. Like, you know, sometimes people do need to talk about what's bothering them. Sometimes people do want to do things that maybe other people don't agree with. You know, don't like something, don't listen, don't watch, don't read. Not everybody can do things the way other people figure they should be done. I am who I am. I am proud of the, the successes that I've had in my life. I am proud of the changes that I am making and the choices that I am making, the chances that I'm taking. Other people will try to stop people who are on a, on a path of positive changes. That's fine. That's fine. As I used to say, you do you, honey boo boo. I gonna do me, sweet pea. I have not all the answers. I'm still gonna fumble along the way. I'm still gonna falter sometimes. But that's being human. You, look, you, I don't even have my light pad on, you guys. I just realized I'm like, I don't got my light pad on. Okay. No I don't think I need to turn it on. Squirrel. A lot of you have been really enjoying the editing techniques to my videos that I've been doing, where I've been inserting, you know, comedy clips, you know, little clips to, you know, it's, it's a different style of technique of editing. It's trying to be original. It's trying to be unique. It's trying to be entertaining. When you are a content creator on YouTube, a, it is competitive, it, you know, it, it's a competitive market because people only have so many hours in the day. They really do. People can only watch so many videos in a day. And, it, you, um, and when I say competitive, it's being competitive with myself. I'm not trying to be competitive with others. It's for me, I'm being competitive with myself 
to be able to have that different content, to be able to have that originality and that uniqueness. I need a sippy sippy. Much better. And you know, when I love the getting the feedback has been great. I have also been trying to work at getting better with my response time to messages. I have been trying to get better with my response time to replying to comments. Now, I am not going to be able to comment necessarily back to every comment because A, it does take a lot of time in your day. You know, I, I understand why the interaction on my channel kind of went down because, well, you know, if you're not going to reply to comments, well, why are people going to bother to comment? So I'm, I'm working at making those changes. Now, I am also not going to spend hours every day online, you know, trying to reply and comment and post. Because that is something I learned last time I was, you know, before I went ghost mode, MIA, da 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 It is a lot of work when you are a content creator who is full-time or wants to be full-time, like I do not know how those who have a full-time job do this. I have a full-time job because it does, it is a lot of work. Like it's not just a matter of sitting down, hitting record and then uploading it. Especially when you do like my, my new editing style takes a long time, you guys. So, I mean, it's not going to be every video or it might not be a lot in some videos. There may only be one or two. There may be none. There may be lots. A, it depends on my day. B, I don't want to overkill. And C, it takes time. You know, I, I, my new, my schedule for uploading is like, I will be, I will have something on my channel Monday to Friday. That is the goal. Weekends are off time. So as I was saying, it takes a lot of time. It's a matter of your editing. You got to come up with your idea concept, you know, and then I kind of take notes and then you, then you got to film and then you got to edit. Then you upload. And then you got to post about, you know, so it, like to me, for me, one video, depending on how much editing there is, that can be a four to five hour process between my filming, my editing, your uploading, you know, and then pr promoting that. I also am trying to start a small business with selling my crafts, my, my resin, and the other items I have coming up. Like I had announced pop-like minders and gem minders, which are real stones and crystals that I'm turning into minders, like cover minders, needle minders, whatnot. I am, you know, and that is like another original idea. Like not one person who makes cover minders has stones or crystals as cover minders. Now I'm sure like um, it's, you know, other people are going to do it. I, you know, it's no different than paddy wax or trees or whatnot. But at least I'll be able to say you heard it here first. No one can expect that to be the only one. Again, it is a competitive market. And I, I was, that's the thing I'm trying to, to say is, you know, I, I got to be able to spend time, you know, I, I've got to be able to make my crafts. I have to be able to, you know, over the last couple days, like the last few days, I had shared some sale posts on my business page on Facebook of items I was selling. I don't have an Etsy shop. I don't have a website. Like those fees on Etsy are to me absolutely bloody ridiculous. I don't have the money to do it. I absolutely don't. Like it is a struggle right now. Hence why I am trying to start a small business. I am gonna have to find a way to be able to sell my crafts because that was literally so time consuming, you guys, I, between replying to messages. Then I've got to create the invoice through PayPal, send the invoice, you know? And the way it's gone PayPal now, 
I have to try to come up with the money for shipping because PayPal has the money frozen until I send out the items. And I'm like, well, that didn't go very well, now did it? So I'm trying to figure out a way where I can sell what I wanna sell, where I'm not gonna have all these astronomical fees. I'm able to stay organized. Like I had actually sent the wrong invoice to somebody. Like I had sent somebody somebody else's invoice because I was so confused and I was spinning in circles. And then there's the other thing. I am a wife and a mom. Like I may, my kids may like my kids may live away from me, but that doesn't mean I'm still not their mother. There still isn't phone calls and there still isn't things that I still have to do that way. This is something that, you know, like it's all going to be by trial and error. These are the choices I have made. There are chances that I am taking. And the changes are going to be well worth it. Absolutely well worth it. I am not going to allow others to try to bring me down while I do this. What other people think of me is none of my business. It really isn't. Think about that, you guys. What somebody thinks of you is none of your business. You cannot control what other people think, say, do, or feel. The only thing that you can do and control is yourself and how you choose to respond to things. That is it, that is all. And I know it's hard, I know, I, trust me, it's to change your way of thinking and how you do things and how you process things takes time. It takes time. This is something that I have been working at very hard for the past two years absolutely 100 percent you know like i have been working very hard on the changes in myself around myself and do i every once in a while slip up and maybe go back to old ways of think of like old behaviors or old ways of doing things yep you know and then i catch myself i'm human i'm human i'm not a robot i have feelings I am somebody who wears my emotions on my sleeve. I am somebody who is very sensitive. That's who I am. That's what makes me me. You know, I am not somebody who can put a smile on my face and act like everything's fine when it's not. That is just not who I am. It's just in how I choose to address it is what I'm working on and changing. Now I notice I definitely don't cry as much as I used to. I definitely have much more of a voice than I used to. Like I, I will stand up for myself. I will say what I need to say now. I always try to do it with kindness and respect. Something I have learned over the years is you can say anything you want with kindness and respect, but the moment you go in on the attack or aggressive, somebody's wall is gonna go up and they're gonna become defensive. And then you're just gonna get nowhere. That's just, it's just gonna get you nowhere. I was just checking my time. You know, I just, and that's the other thing. Where did all these rules, you know, like, you know, one of my subscribers had made this point because when I did my unboxing for Captured by Radiance, I kept apologizing for the length and how long it was. And somebody in the comments had said, who, who no, don't, don't, who cares? Like, who said an unboxing should be this or a whip and chat should be that? You know, they had said, no, I don't care if an unboxing is five hours as long as it's entertaining. If you're entertaining me, 
I'm going to watch. You know, if it's boring AF, I'm not going to watch, you know. Like, the, the one thing that did make me step back was... You know, when I'm seeing the comments on people talking about other creators, that I don't know, like, you know, I don't know how to respect, you know, saying like other creators are boring or other channels this, you know, we're all different, you know, do I agree that sometimes unboxings do get boring? Absolutely. That's why I decided to take my new editing style to unboxings. Because they are, they're kind of repetitive and the same, you know? Now, I appreciate everybody's comments. I appreciate everybody's honesty. But always be careful, even down in the comments, you know, because people can get hurt, even with honesty. Like, I don't believe what anybody said was nasty. But some people did take offense to my comment section. Now, I did not apologize. I can't control what people comment on my videos, and nor am I going to say anything. Because people have the right to speak, you know. So you are welcome to comment what you want in my comment section. But always try to speak with kindness. Please. There's Mr. Purple. What you doing? Oh, and you know what, you guys, as I was just speaking on timing, I really said everything I did I needed to say today. I touched base on, I really wanted to touch base on and acknowledge all the messages that I had gotten on that situation I discussed earlier, okay? I have, I've made my choice you know, I'm doing what I need to do. I will not respond to any more mess. I, and as I have not, I've read your messages. I gave the thumbs up, and that's it. That's all. That's all I'm gonna. That's all you guys are gonna get from me. You know, this is not an overly long whip and chat. It's a start, though, you guys. Just like trying to get my passion back for diamond painting. It's a start. I did stop whip and chats because. I was convinced that I was awful and toxic. My whip and chats were this and that, blah, blah, blah. All right? So this is a start. This is a start. I am on the road to success. Like I said earlier, I'm going to have failures. I'm going to make mistakes. It's just not making the same mistakes. If anything I say in a video bothers you or offends you or upsets you, please feel free to reach out to me. Let's discuss it like adults. Okay, we're not children. Naming and shaming and so on and so forth, really, that says more about their care. The person who is doing the shaming and that says actually more about them than the person they're speaking of. So that is where I am going to leave this, you guys. I am going to jump off, put this together, and get it up on the channel before it's, you know, too late in the day, and then go cook Mr. Purple some supper. All right, you guys. So on that note, I am going to bid the all farewell. Stay positive, live blessed, and until next time, many, many blessings. Namaste. Bye, guys. That's all, folks.